Okay, that's the ATS box. Okay. Now, the manual changeover is still in place. We'll be replacing this in a couple of minutes, you know, and putting the automatic in its place. Now, the generator is actually ready to take a command. I can put it on manual mode and then start. Okay, so um, since we want to test the auto function, we'll put it back on auto and then of course we'll open up the panel just to do a petty self-test. Now, even though the gen is on auto right now, it's still not running because there's no command given yet. So we're going to do, at the back here, these are the lines, you know, the different wires for the gen uh, module connection. Now, these wires run all the way to this terminal over here. And then from some of these, we'd have the lines to attach our wires to in order to control the ATS, I mean, to control the module. Now, this terminal is actually vacant, which is waiting for the ATS connection. That terminal is attached to this wire, which in turn is linked to this place. Okay, so right now, we're gonna, we're gonna loop, we're gonna loop to do a self-test on the module because those two terminals this point this point and this point you know somewhere here this line down here somewhere here this terminal and this terminal those are the two terminals that are ATS con command uh, wires will connect to so this loop now is representing the command from the ATS can we do that let's see down here down down put it down there okay good so let's see what this gen is saying. Okay. So the moment he attached the wire, the gen started, and when he removed it, the gen stopped. That's all we needed to see to be sure the ATS and the gen who 